uh, we're going to talk about the liver. So liver is actually in three spaces, actually four spaces, or you can say in four regions. So which regions liver is included? You, you just you, you use, the, I'm using the diagram, so you just, uh, you will understand how. This is the liver, this, uh, this I have made the liver. So liver, you can see is starting here. So it's also included in the right lumbar region. It's crossing upward, so it's in the right hypochondric region. Crossing the epigastric region between in the epigastric region, so it's also in here. It's also in the left hypochondric region, so you can say that it's also over here. So four regions, liver is included, liver, 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 liver. Right lumbar region, right hypochondric region, epigastric and left hypochondric region. Now moving from the liver towards the pancreas. This small structure, this I have, uh, I guess, I have used this color, this light green color, and this light green color shows the pancreas. So the pancreas is included, you can see there, in, in what structures? Number one, left hypochondric region. Number two, in the epigastric region. Number three, in the umbilical region so you can say the pancreas is in this region i'm sorry about this one i've just mistaken it but this is present in three regions only you can say that epigastric region the left hypochondric region and the umbilical region so uh, making it simple simplifying it pancreas present here pancreas in the left hypochondric region in the umbilical region it's also present you can say pancreas and again, it's just passing through this one, so there is a pancreas as well. All right, very simple. Now, from moving from the pancreas towards the kidneys. Kidneys are very interesting. Uh, I have made a mistake, a uh, few mistakes here uh, in the structure, so I'll, I'll, ex I'll explain it. So you look at this structure. This is similar to this one, so I have messed it, messed it up a little bit, you know, kind of. So look at this structure. This, is, this will be similar to that one. All right, so the kidney, you can see that the right kidney, we're first talking about the right kidney. So this is right kidney, this is left kidney. The right kidney occupies this space. Right hypochondric, right hypochondric. So you can say the right kidney over here. Right kidney occupies the epigastric region. So you can say that right kidney is also present here right right kidney r r dot k no, i mean by right kidney present here so the right kidney is also present here you can say that so the right kidney here here in the umbilical region it's also present you can see that i have made it in the dotted line this red color kidney this is a red color the red color shows the kidney so the over here we got the right kidney so four spaces that key occupies uh, similar with the left kidney, it occupies the same four places, but left hypochondric region, left lumbar region, epigastric region, but we'll be using the word left kidney, L dot K. In similar case, left kidney, left kidney, sorry, and again here, left kidney. So right, right kidney, right kidney, in this epigastric and in the umbilical region, we have a right and left kidney, right and left kidney, in the left hypochondria, we have left kidney, in the lumbar region, we got the left kidney. So from, and on the kidney, you can find out, you can see this black structure, black dot I have made. Uh, this is actually the adrenal, uh, you, or you can say the, uh, what, you, what you call it, the adrenal glands, yeah. So these are the adrenal glands. So if anybody asking you where the adrenal glands is located, so this is the epigastric region. So adrenal glands are located in the epigastric region, both the ad adrenal glands, I mean left and right, both the adrenal glands, um, this one over here, this one over here, so the adrenal glands are present in the, uh, uh, both in the epigastric region. Now we are moving from the, uh, we are done with the epigastric region, we are done with the pancreas, now we will move to, we are done with the kidney actually, now we will move towards the gallbladder, so this is the gallbladder, so gallbladder actually occupies only two uh, two regions that is the right hypochondric and uh, right lumbar region nothing else than that so that uh, in the diagram you can say I have a, I have used the uh, what you would you call this color yellow color so this is the gallbladder uh, shown in the uh, yellow color so you can say gallbladder is present in the GB gallbladder in the right hypochondric region and the 
right hypochondric region and the right lumbar region so this is the gallbladder that's it about the gallbladder and now let's move towards the spleen okay so in the spleen occupies two spaces only you can you know the spleen is located just above the on the surface or above the stomach so this is the spleen so spleen occupies two spaces that is the epigastric region there's your spleen and again the left hypochondric region so i'm mentioning the spleen here in the epigastric region and the left hypochondric region so we got a spleen here all right spleen spleen in the both region you can see this diagram this light pink color and from the spleen now we move towards the ureter so you can see here kidney this is a kidney in red color from the kidney we have ureters taking out urine and this ureter is actually present in the umbilical region you can say ureter is present here and also in present in here some part of it so you will mention it ureter is present over here and again we have got the gallbladder in the hypogastric region the ureter was present in the umbilical region and the hypogastric region but the uh, but the what you call it the bladder was only present in the hypogastric only present in the hypogastric region so uh, we are now we're done with the all the diagram all the structures that were main structures that were present here but there are other structures there are the product reproductive structures uh, in, uh, of uh, which are which are only present in the hypogastric region. So I have um, I have written the reproductive parts. So I'll I'll mention the names of reproductive part uh, because those uh, those th that picture would ha this picture would have been complicated if I added those uh, parts uh, because they they are different for males and different for females. So I'll just name them. Uh, you know. So we have got the prostate gland in this hypogastric region. So you can see prostate. We got. Right, you just listen to me you just mention it all right right and left fallopian tubes in case of female fallopian tube we got right and left ovaries in case of fem female look it's you might think that uh, the ovaries are present you could be present here the ovary is also present here so you can say that left ovary is here but some part of it similar to kidney was moving inside over here so some part of it is also in here so over here so we got in here we got the right right ovary and again uh, same same of the fallopian tube and coming from there so you can say that uh, right fallopian tube in here and left fallopian tube in here and from from now the other structure that are present are the right and left ureters we have already mentioned mention it ureters that is the right and left because coming on both sides and from up above here so uh, right and left here, here and the right and left ureters here right and left other structure that are present in here are the seminal vessels in case of man or male seminal vesicles sigmoid colon is also here sigmoid colon uh, your urinary bladder which i have already mentioned your uterus on in case of female it's present here and vast difference are present here so you see uh, the main reproductive the, most of the reproductive structure are present here except for the uh, fallopian tube which are starting from here which have also uh, some part in in the hypogastric region but uh, they are arising from the left iliac and right iliac re re region in K like uh, right ovary and the right fallopian tube and left ovary and left fallopian tube all right so this was the basic understanding of the structures that were present in the nine abdominal regions i hope i made them clear and uh, I, please make sure to comment us and let us know how much you liked it and how how easy uh, have i made it and uh, please keep visiting tides schooling thank you